Professional, why are you swearing at a, at a citizen? Why are you swearing at a citizen? You're swearing at a citizen. You're on the board of ed. You're not being professional. First up at 6 o'clock, it is the video everyone is talking about. It appears to show what sparked a fight at a Board of Ed meeting last night in Glastonbury. Tonight, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones has been out getting reaction from the community. She's joining us live with more on exactly what was happening here. Marcy, what are you learning? That's right, Mark and Aaron, with just 10 days left until Christmas, I don't know if either one of these men have a shot at making Santa's nice lift. If you ask me, it's Coal City from here on out. A lot of community members say this is not the behavior they want Glastonbury students to be seeing. Glastonbury residents are still trying to make sense of the scuffle that broke out at yesterday's Board of Education meeting. What was your immediate reaction when you saw that things got physical? Well, very immature. Witness videos show a Board of Education member, Ray McFall, and an attending citizen have escalating tension that turns from words into a push and a punch. You got to fault both sides on, on this uh, incident, but it, it, it was shocking. The meeting was supposed to reopen a discussion about the decision made in 2020 to remove the high school's Tomahawk logo. Folks we spoke to say they attribute the flare and tempers to today's pressure-filled climate. With everything that's going on and everybody's uh, directing everybody how to live their life, what you should be doing, oh, that's not acceptable. You know, so everybody's getting pushed in a corner there, and it's just, uh, you know, eventually going to happen like that, where people are just going to, you know, Lash out. People are over it. People are over the pandemic. People are over politics, I think, too. Um, yeah, there's just like a lot going on. So, but that is crazy that it got to be like. I could tell you one thing, this would never have happened over Zoom. And in all seriousness, we did try to talk to Glastonbury police. They said that they are not allowed to comment at this time because it is an open investigation, but no charges have been filed yet. Live in Glastonbury, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.